Hey guys, welcome back to Sound Design with Anna 2. In this video, we're going to create an 80s style drifting pad. So first things first, let's go into the oscillator section. We're just going to use one oscillator and I'm going to come down to find the Jupiter saw. So this is based on the old Jupiter, Roland Jupiter 8. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to eight voices. And actually, no, let's come down to three because if we set it to eight voices, it's probably going to sound a little bit too modern. Um, have a little bit of detune. We don't want it to be too detuned though. So something like that. And then we're going to come down to the amplitude envelope. And we want a little bit of release, not too much release. And we just want to take the edge off of the attack. I don't want a big, you know, sweeping attack, but just so that it's not instant. And then over to the filter section, we shall choose, obviously, the Roland filter type. And then we're going to assign this to the filter envelope. Maybe give it some resonance. Because that sounds a bit fizzy on the Roland filter type. So probably something about like that. And then coming over to the LFO, we're going to assign LFO1 to Oscillator 1's fine pitch. And this is where we're going to add some of the drift. We don't want that much. And then into the mod matrix, we're going to take this modulation amount down. So you can hear the pitch varying slightly on that oscillator. And this is quite common with the, um, the current synth wave kind of sound. It's, um, it's not perfect. Now what you don't want to do, you don't want to set this LFO rate too low because what's going to happen is it's, it's the sound is going to spend too long outside of the kind of fundamental frequency. Um, and then it's going to start to sound odd. You want it fast enough so that you can still kind of perceive what that, that note should be. And then I'm also going to add some delay because delay and I'm going to choose uh, ping pong. Actually, I always choose the same one. I don't even know why I bother telling you. And then I'm also going to add probably some phaser just to give it a little bit more movement. Switch the phaser on um, a little bit of feedback. but we don't want too much phaser because that's going to end up ruining what we've already done. Just a little bit and we'll push that into the ping pong. Um, I've just set up a little MIDI clip as usual. It's just a little chord progression so we can hear that chord playing. So let's have a listen to that. Probably add a little bit more attack to this. And that's it. You might want to reduce the cutoff. Let's just listen to that again. Yeah, actually, I prefer that. Okay, I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks, everybody, for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.